Hey, Salawam, all glorification, honor, and praise is definitely due unto Yahweh, Baha Sami Hawasai, Baha Sam Rakakwadas, Kol Noyan Wahawa La, Yahweh, Baha Sam Yahawasai, Baha Sam Rakakwadas. Double honors, as always, is extended to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the bishops and Zaquaniyam, who rule and teach the church well because that's what they do. I want to say salutations to you, Akim, out there laboring on the four corners of the earth. Fighting the good fight of faith, preaching, teaching, and prophesying the right way, waking up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, on down the altars among Israel who have believed our report. Okay, the men, women, and children believers, they too are going to be delivered out of this coming hellfire. All right, and the hellfire is going to be compliments of the ICBMs, okay, and the chariots of the Lord. All right, now, um, real quick, you know, uh, prophecy in short, okay, going into this, uh, rare you know blue super moon all right that's gonna um be going down at the end of this month had another one not a uh not as rare you know go down last night today is uh wednesday august the second okay 2023 and the lord is putting these signs in the heaven in the heavens all right for you israelites man he's doing this for you hebrew israelites first and foremost all right you so-called negroes latinos and native americans Okay, you are the Lord's chosen people, along with you speckled birds. Okay, you as the life owners who are mingled among the heathen. All right, these signs, all right, all right, are serving as a wake up call. Okay, the Lord is trying to get the attention of His people, man. All right, now we know according to prophecy, you know that two thirds have to be, you know, cut off and die here in America. They have to feel death by pain, you know, and that's because you know, uh, uh. uh Two thirds of our people refuse to repent, man. They want to continue to be adulterers and adulteresses, you know, fornicate with this uh, whore, man, and and wander after the beast. Okay, they want to stay here, man. You know, they 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 want to continue to trust in the shadow of Egypt, you know, which is fucking crazy, man. The Lord's got two thirds of our people, you know, delusional out here. All right, but that remnant is gonna wake up, man. That remnant is gonna wake up. That remnant is going to recognize the signs, man. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna recognize that that these things that are that are appearing in the heavens, okay, like these these solar eclipses, these lunar eclipses, these 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 blue super moons, okay, and 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 let's not forget about the chariots. They're gonna recognize that these are signs, all right, from the Lord, you know, and they're gonna wake up, man, you know, because like it says in Romans thirteen. And verse 11, you know, it's high time to wake out of sleep. All right. Um, so, yeah, basically, uh, I'm not going to read this. But uh, again, on August 30th, it says. Um, I'm not going to read this, but. I'll read this part. All right, it says a blue supermoon, however, happens far less frequently. According to the, the website Time and Date, the last blue supermoon was in December 2009, and the next one won't be until August 2032, which, you know, we'll be in the kingdom by then. All right, this place will definitely be on fire in 2032. Best believe that, man. Russia's fixing to turn this place into a lake of fire. All right, Russia, along with an assembly of great nations, okay, they fixing to turn this place into a big old lake of fire, man. OK, that's the judgment written, man. That's what the Lord has planned. All right. For you Babylonians, man, for you Americans. All right. So, yeah, man, this is a you know a really rare thing. OK, this this blue supermoon is going to be, you know, uh, going down on uh, August 30, 2023. OK, so what is that? Roughly uh, 28 days from now. Yeah, man, signs. OK, in the. uh in the sun and the moon and the stars. Here, let me get that scripture because I got that written. I only got a couple precepts, man. You know, Lord willing, you'll be edified through the Spirit. Luke chapter 21, getting right to the point in verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon. Okay. It says, and in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations. Are not the nations stressed the fuck out right now? Absolutely, man. It says, with perplexity. Okay. The sea... And the waves roaring. Let's look up that word perplexity. I didn't plan on doing that, but let's go into that word perplexity. 
Did I lose my article? Nah, I didn't lose my article. Let's go into the word perplexity. Perplexity. All right, it says, simple Google definition. Inability to deal with <laughs> or understand something complicated or, or unaccountable. <laughs> All right. Um, definition two, an entangled state. Okay, yeah, but similar words. Hold on. Confusion, bewilderment. It's not letting me choose the uh, all of them. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Puzzlement. <laughs> Mystification. Bafflement. Yeah, man. So, yeah. And that's and, and that's the thing, man. You know, there's a whole bunch of confusion out here. And that's because of who's in the power seat, man. Who's ruling this earth, right? The scripture says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? The wicked being Esau, all right? Uh Starting with his elites, man, the wicked elites, you know, them, them Rothschilds and Rockefellers, okay, them Oppenheimers, Gettys, all right, it's because, because they're ruling, okay, nothing but confusion is, is being forwarded throughout this earth, man, all right, so anyway, yeah, the nations is stressed out, it says the sea and the waves roaring, verse 26, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And that's the thing, man. These elites, all right, the, the, the elites, all right, of Esau, okay? They're shook right now, man, all right? The, the rulers of this present world are shook. That's why they invested trillions upon trillions of dollars into those underground military uh, bunkers, man, them dumbs, okay? That's why they have plans to go out into the heavens, all right? They, they're going to try to escape the judgment of Yahweh Bashmah Shah. They're shook. They know they know the, the the ships out in the heavens. They know they're not UFOs. All right, they the Elise Esau know about the chariots of the Lord. It's just that you two thirds, all right, don't know. All right, two thirds of you uh, uh, Hebrew Israelites out here. All right, again, you so called so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. All right, you the Lord's chosen people in the earth, along with you Israelite foreigners, speckled birds. You have no clue. You're thinking that 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 uh, Esau's narrative. Okay, of, of, of them being uh, uh, UFOs right, with little green, tiny men inside. You're, you're believing that narrative. Well, no. Nah. You know, the Lord's got two thirds of you out here delusional as fuck, man. All right. Um, verse 27. And then and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud. All right. A chariot with power and great glory. All right. Yeah, man. But th these these events that are taking place in the heavens. All right. Again, the chariots. All right, signs in the sun, in the moon, and the stars. All right, these things are are, are are primarily, first and foremost, for for you as 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 the Israelites, man. All right, now they they they're causing the heathen to be dismayed, man. You know, going into Jeremiah the tenth chapter, they, these things are call, causing the heathen to be dismayed. All right, so yeah, um, I'm not gonna make this long at all. I just like I said, uh. I jotted down a couple precepts, and I've been interrupted several times, you know, while doing this video. I didn't, uh, the first time I started this video, um, I didn't put my do not disturb on. I got a, I got several phone calls, which, you know, and I, I got some text messages. So anyways, uh, I got my do not disturb on. So let's, let's, let's finish this thing out, man. All right. And the Lord's getting ready to fuck this place up, man. You know, and he. Again, he's doing these things for the benefit of his people, man. All right. This is your wake up call. And you don't got too much longer, you know, because, you know, this, this government is ready to, to, to kill this Internet, man. All right. The governments of the earth are ready to, to, to kill all right, the free flow of information on the uh, on the uh, World Wide Web, man. All right. So time is short. You're not going to be able to get this edification much longer. That's why we constantly, you know, warning you to flee the wrath to come and to seek the Lord while he may be found. Let me go to Psalms, Psalm 78. <clears throat> and, uh,
Psalm 78. You know, just going going back, you know, and, and, and talking about what the Lord did, all right, for his people, you know, in the ancient world. You know, he's getting ready to do the same thing, all right, in this dispensation, you know, deliver his people, man. All right, in, into them, in, into the clouds, man, into them ships, the chariots, okay? So this is uh, Psalm the 78th chapter and verse 39. The point is in uh, verse 43, but I'll start in 39. It says, For he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passeth away and cometh not again. How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness, verse 40, and grieve him in the desert? Yea, they turned back and tempted Yahweh and limited the Holy One of Israel. All right, the God of this Bible is the God of the Israelites. All right, period. God of this Bible is only dealing with the, the Israelites. Okay, the heathen nations got idols to worship. It says, um, verse 42, they remembered not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemy. Verse 43, how he had wrought his signs in Egypt, okay, and his wonders in the field of Zoan. Yeah, man, it says how he had wrought his signs in Egypt, just like he's doing in this in this uh, uh, spiritual Egypt, all right, America. Okay, he's 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 doing signs, man. You know, it's not it's not just that uh you know these uh these uh blue super moons and what have you, these lunar eclipses, these solar eclipses. He's doing all kinds of signs out here, man. You know, he's he's drying up the waters. You know, the scriptures talks about a drought being upon her waters over here in America. Okay. He's, he's, he's blasting the, the crops. You know, he's causing the crops to fail. He's sending pestilences. Okay, he's getting ready to send a, 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 all, all kinds of plagues and do all kinds of signs. All right? Just like he did in the ancient world. So, like, there's a goddamn dog out here. Hang on one second. Got all the damn dogs in the neighborhood barking. So, like, yeah. Um... Yeah, you know, point being is, and forgive me, um, the Lord is, is is fixing us to do all kinds of signs out here. They're going to get stronger, stronger, more intense, more intense, okay, leading up to the return of Yahweh Shai, man. All right, um, next precept. Oh, yeah, let's go to uh, the additions to the book of Esther. If you don't have the Apocrypha, you ain't got this, you ain't got it, man. You got to have the apocrypha to get this one. All right, but you Christians, y'all don't, uh, y'all don't deal with the apocrypha because the, basically the apocrypha is too scary for y'all. But yeah, the additions to Esther, let's go to 10. Let's see. All right, the additions to Esther chapter 10, and uh, let's see, I'll just start in 9, the point is in 9, all right, and it reads, and my nation is this Israel, which cried to Yahweh and were saved, okay, salvation is for the Israelites, okay, for the Lord has saved his people, <laughs> and the Lord hath delivered us from all those evils, and Yahweh hath brought signs and great wonders which have not been done among the Gentiles. All right, so again, these signs, all right, and the stars and the sun and the moon, all right, they're for you Israelites, man. All right, and he's done this throughout history, okay? Um, I'm going to keep going, man, because this, this totally destroys Christianity. All right, it says in verse 10, Therefore hath he made two lots, one for the people of Yahweh and another for all the Gentiles. And those are the natural Gentiles. Okay, vocab. And these two lots came at the hour and time and day of judgment before Yahweh among all nations. So Yahweh, verse 12, remembered his people and justified his inheritance. All right, so he's not going to justify the, the heathen nations. There's no justification, all right, for the heathen nations. There's no salvation for the heathen nations. Okay? Uh-uh. Yeah, man. So, yeah, the apocrypha is too hot for a Christian. But yeah, man, these signs, you know, the signs in the, in, in the moon, okay, 
um, and the sun, the stars, you know, they're they for the Israelites. Okay. Again, wake up, man. Wake up. Let's get Ecclesiasticus. Was that 36? I didn't write this one down. Let's get something and let's do this. Sirach or Ecclesiastes 36. Um, <laughs> I'll start at the top. It says, have mercy upon us, O Lord, Yahweh of all and behold us and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee because the nations don't seek after Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, The name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. A heathen can't even utter the name. Okay. It, it's, it's a thing of dread for a, a, a heathen. Okay, it says, lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see thy power. And that's just the thing, man. The Lord is getting ready to, de to demonstrate his power on this earth, man. He's already started doing it. It's just that, you know, he ha it hadn't gotten to that, 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 that fever pitch level yet. Okay, where, where the heathen nations and the two-thirds aren't going to have a choice but to, 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 to recognize who's doing it. See, we already recognize who's doing it, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, verse four, as thou was sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us, and let them know, verse five, thee, as we have known thee, that there is no power but only thou, O Yahweh. That's right, man. Verse six, and this is what I wanted to get to. Shew new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Yeah, man. Raise up indignation, verse 7, and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. And that's what he's going to do, man. He's going to take away the adversary, Esau, okay, along with the rest of the heathen rulers, okay, when he comes back, man. All right, but these signs, you know, these signs specifically, you know, these signs in the moon, all right, they're for you Israelites. So time is short, man. So you got to wake up, okay? Because, you know, Yahweh Shai's return is imminent. All right, Lord willing, he was edified through the Spirit. And uh, with that, I want to say Shalom. Let's on to the next video.